hi i hope you're doing well after the lunar eclipse and full wolf moon yesterday and today i'm going to do a reading with oracle of the fairies on the 11th of january try not to get hooked up in my sleeves <laughs> they're very very practical <laughs> If you're living in a castle, they're very practical. I was actually at a castle yesterday. There's a castle on the top of St. Michael's Mount where I did my reading for the lunar eclipse. And um, so if I wore this dress, I'm sure that it would be perfect. <laughs> Albeit not very practical. Let's see what the fairies want to share with us today. What magical message do they have for us? Fairies, please share your wisdom with us. These cards are starting to look very worn. They're being used a lot and I love that because my energy is really imbuing them and uh, I love it. Did you see that? solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Solitude. This card is all about solitude, being alone spending precious time alone and enjoying your own company. When we spend alone time in solitude, this could be having a beautiful relaxing bath, taking a walk on your own through a meadow, through the woods, by the sea. I do this a lot and I love my own company. It doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the company of others because I certainly do. But when we spend time on our own, it means that we can really recharge our batteries, feel our own energy. Because very often, especially if you're sensitive or an empath, you can pick up the energy of those around you. You can really easily feel the vibes. So when you're on your own in solitude, you can really feel your own energy and know what is yours and what isn't yours. Being in solitude means that you can write, you can paint, you can do your hobbies and your crafts, whatever they may be, or you can just sit and contemplate in meditation. Watch TV if you like, catch up on those shows, catch up on those movies. Have a date night with yourself. You're great company. <laughs> Have a laugh by yourself. It's really fine to do this. Even if you're in a relationship, you can still do this. It's important because when you're in a relationship, you still need time apart because then when you come together, there's more joy. There's more things to talk about, more things to share because you're both living your own lives, but you're still coming together. So solitude isn't about being on your own forever. It's just about taking some time for yourself, enjoying your own company, really feeling your own energy and being in your own energy, playing that music that you really like, dance around the lounge if you like, draw the curtains and dance, sing, do whatever brings you joy. Solitude can be beautiful. The fairies also tell us that too much solitude can make you out of balance. If we didn't need other people, we would all be born on our own unique planet because there's infinite room in the universe. So it's about balance, as is everything. Balance between your own personal solitude and balance between being in social groups, social activities with other people. You'll know when you find the right balance. 
enjoy your own space. Make a fairy altar perhaps. Find things that bring your heart joy and that lift your soul. Put them on an altar, light a candle, play some gentle music, meditate, do a fairy oracle reading. Do whatever brings your heart joy. Enjoy your solitude, enjoy your alone time. It's positive. It's a positive thing to be on your own sometimes. It's a positive thing to be in solitude, where you truly feel all one with everyone and with everything that is on a spiritual level. It really helps you to tune into your heart, to be aware of your thoughts and feelings and to watch any thoughts that come up that maybe aren't comfortable for you. And if that's the case, then just release them. You can turn them into clouds and let them float out of your ears or birds or butterflies, let them float or fly out of your ears. There are so many different techniques that you can use because sometimes people are fearful of being on their own because of the thoughts, because they can't bear their own company. Well, learn to love your own company because how can anyone else love your company if you can't love your own company? Be in joy in solitude. Then you can be in joy when you're in company and you'll be even more magnetic, more vibrant. Take a walk in nature, commune with the trees, with the plants, with the land or with the ocean, wherever you feel truly at home. Be in solitude in these places and see how uplifted you can feel. So think about this card that the fairies have brought to us today, solitude. And if you've been spending too much time alone, then the opposite is true. And the fairies are saying, get out and socialize, be with people, connect with people, talk with people. Only you'll know if this is applicable to you. And if there's been lots of busyness and especially over the festive period, it gets really, really busy with all the extended families and activity then this is a reminder to take some time for yourself. Be in solitude, be in peace, be in joy. And this is the message that the fairies wish to share with us today. I wish you so much love, light and joy and magical fairy blessings. Until the next time, take care.